Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. <laughs> Here is a tough question around the holidays. What do you get your coworkers and your boss as gifts? That's tough. Do you get oh, your boss man. anything, really? I, a card. Oops. Yeah, wait. He was My just boss in was here. just in here. I of course, you get him something big and elaborate. Stuff. We're gonna we're gonna try to help you. We've got a list of the best gifts for coworkers. These are in no particular order. Okay. How about a nice plant? Can you go wrong with a nice plant? Uh, I don't think. Uh, well, if, if they if they are a plant killer, I I, I don't know. Well. Maybe. That's we, don't a good have, one. we don't have a lot of windows in here. This is so true. That could be a problem. That cactus. Was, that was number one on the. There cactus, you go. Cactus. Very good. Uh, I think a coffee mug with coffee in it is always good, but make sure they like coffee. Yeah, I don't. I don't drink coffee. I'll take the plant. The tea? Though. Would you take tea? I would take tea. Sure, I'd do that. Okay. Same this much. is a this is a total ruse. What? We're what not. There's saying? no real list for coworkers. It's all about. Look back there. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yes, this is the gift. We wanted to get you some Lysol. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, thank that you. That was just to I've, hide the thing that's the really in here. Because uh, I need some of that. This is something. What are you Stop doing? looking at my papers. Oh, I'm sorry. This is I'm just confused. for Matt. We found this great website. Matt always says that bacon is the candy bar of meat. Well, that's a proven so fact. So we found it's a proven fact. You can't, there's no, you can't argue with science. NASA. Yes. Right. So we found this for you. <laughs> this is called my nice. first bacon. <laughs> and apparently, uh, uh, apparently he or she or it has something to say. I'm bacon. Let I'm bacon. It, let me do it again. I'm bacon. 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 And I wish I'm I was bacon. bacon. There you go. Are you serious? That's really yours. That's from the, that's from the staff. <laughs> it's from um, thinkg, G -E -E yeah. com, 1999. I'm it bacon. was the... I'm bacon. <laughs> I love it. The sizzling... Think Geek. Oh, there's a letter missing. Think Geek. Dot com, which it really is That's about you. Think <laughs> yeah, right. com. Who would have thought you'd find a gift for me there? 1999. That's, That's all it is. Look at that. 1999. That's so sweet. You're holding it like a baby. Well, I mean, it's it's probably already more important to me than my children. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Look at that face. I've only known them for a couple That's of minutes. That's a face only a mother could love, only a slab could love. He can call me. Mother. Oh, there's some music for you. <laughs> Oh, bacon. <laughs> oh, this is about to get very personal. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. And this Merry Christmas. So, this is very kind. Merry Christmas to you. I was like, Merry Christmas. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No, but seriously, this is, this is way better than a plan. Thinkgeek.com. So we're not supposed to do the rest of the top five? Uh, okay. No, it was all, it was all the jokes. That's suckered. Go ahead. You guys are good at that. All right, thank you. And thanks to the cast and crew. Should <laughs> I hold this while I talk to Alan Thick? That just seems uh, odd. No. Uh, he's well known for playing Jason Seaver on the hit 80s sitcom Growing Pains. He's also a game show host, a company musician, and in his spare time, a best selling author. That's, that's a boatload. Since he knows uh, what he's talking about when it comes to families, we turn to TV's favorite father, Alan Thick, to help us with our last minute holiday gift ideas for your kids. Mr. Thick, it is an honor. How are you, sir? Thank you very well. Uh, c congratulations on your good taste for having me today, and I uh, <laughs> hope you're having a wonderful December. Well, I am. I just got a, a plush bacon toy, so things couldn't be going any better for me right now. I, I heard. You know, <laughs> we're famous for that in Canada. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You would know. So what, what is it? Whether it's parents, whether it's grandma or grandpa, a lot of us procrastinate. What can you do to help us, and why do we do this every year? Uh, well, I'm not going to answer that right now. I'm procrastinating uh, <laughs> for a little while. Uh, uh, based, based on the book, How to Raise Kids Who Won't Hate You, uh, uh, a, a lot of that is about uh, interactive parenting and traditions and bonding and that sort of thing. And I, I think that uh, we, we do wait until the 11th hour to do a lot of our Christmas shopping. But what I'm promoting is, in addition to your uh, emergency online purchases, go to the mall. Get out there and don't and, 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 and experience what Christmas has to offer. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to establish traditions and to get involved with the kids, see what they're interested in, teach them a little bit about unselfishness and thinking about the other people that might be on your shopping list, and uh, just a great time to get out there and sit on Santa's lap <laughs> or else. <laughs> and then uh, listen to the listen to the carols over the the speakers. Uh, smell the cinnamon and the and the uh, have an eggnog. It, it's a, it's a great excursion for the I family. I like it. You're painting a beautiful picture for us. Speaking of of generosity and really having our heart in the right place, how do we know what kids really want? 
Uh, I think they'll tell you. There's no secret. You, uh, I mean, certainly uh, that, that interactivity you get in the mall is going to tell you right away what they're into. And even more importantly, it gives you a, a glimpse into the age appropriateness of what you should be buying. You know, there are all kinds of things you can get that they're either they've grown out of or they're not quite ready for. You've got to hit it right on the nose. What do you think about, uh, you know, there's so many, uh, such a wide variety now of these learning toys, these interactive toys. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, real important, terribly important. Uh, a couple that I'm uh, sending people to this year uh, are this uh, uh, from Lowe's. At Lowe's, you could get the red toolbox kit. This is a, a 10 tool uh, box, and it's ergonomically designed, whatever that means. <laughs> it has something to do with the handles and the rubber and the, fa and, the and the size of a kid's fist and what they learn to do with it. Um, uh, a lot of hours can be spent in the new year with some interactive carpentry. It's a great buy. You can also use it to put together things like the Red Toolbox Hanging Bird Feeder Kit. Uh, so uh, pick that up or, uh, at, at, here for under 80 bucks at Radio Shack. This is state-of-the-art robotics. This is called the Prime 8, and uh, this will do. And this will uh, shoot rockets. It'll play games. It'll mow the lawn, cut your hair, brush your teeth. <laughs> this is I a like great it. thing to have uh, for kids. And of course, my main uh, number one rule for uh, shopping any year, the golden rule is take care of the women first. If you know what's good for you, or you, who knows what will be in your turkey <laughs> stuffing this year. Uh, so we send you them to right. Sam's Club. Sam's Club for jewelry. You can't go wrong. For under uh, 400 you could pick up this uh, fabulous uh, uh, natural diamond pendant. So I hope I've solved all your problems. All of my problems. Mr. Allen Thick, I'll trust anybody who writes a book called How to Raise Kids Who Won't Hate You. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank Merry you. Christmas my pleasure. You. you bet. Okay, same to you. Carol, what's up? Well, it was a busy week in Hollywood. Miley Cyrus, it seems, can't be tamed. Hulk Hogan gets married and the police are a part of yeah. the ceremony. And Kim Kardashian says, I should really take myself off the market. I don't know. Dang it. Kurt Copeland, Z1077, here with the scoop. Uh, I, am, I want you to know now, the sarcasm is about to spew <laughs> forth, okay? You know what you get with me, right? I, I was talking about me, but oh. so that's two of us. <laughs> There's two of us. Good All right. combination. Hulk Hogan, his, his bride, who is very young, and yeah, he was she, on the set with us. He's a very nice man. He is. I mean, he's kind of, a, kind of an icon. You know, he's been part of our uh, culture for so long. He's 57. Jennifer McDaniel, his wife, his, his new wife. bride, is uh, 28? 35. 35. 35. 35. Okay. But the real story is how much she looks like his daughter. Identical. Brooke Hogan. Uh, I mean, I, uh, almost identical. Creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy. So, so tell me about this fight at the, who was fighting at the wedding? They have the wedding and uh, Hulk, you know, he's got a lot of his wrestling buddies and he gets one of his buddies to do security at the wedding. Paparazzi, you know how they are, they want the pictures so they break in, crash the wedding if you will. Guy grabs the security guy's throat, says I've got a gun. Next thing you know, the cops show up. But uh, Hulk took it, you know, he had a laugh with it, oh. tweeted, uh, you know, hey, look at this drama, this is my wedding. Meanwhile, his wife is engaged to yeah. a 21-year-old? This is the okay. best part. <clears throat> Excuse mm. me. So this woman that Hulk married was Brooke Hogan's friend. Right. And they were together before they got divorced. Now she, Linda, the ex-wife, ex Hulk Hogan's ex-wife, follow, follow. Right. Her new boy toy, her 21-year-old boy toy, is Nick Hogan's friend. Her son's friend. Right. All right. <laughs> Moving on from Crazy Land. We're still in Crazy Land. Uh, Miley Cyrus oh, appears boy. to not really care that she was caught. Now, what she was caught smoking in this there bong... There it is. Go ahead. Uh, ...is legal in California, <coughs> uh, <coughs> not legal <coughs> in Missouri. Salvia? Yes. Okay. I, apparently, it, it has whatever you need Hallucinogenic. in there. Hallucinogenic. Because if you watch that video, she's acting a fool. She's making a, a total fool of herself. Uh, I, you know, people that do that kind of stuff, you know, the real but, stuff, they wouldn't want to hang out with her. But worse is her attitude, her reaction. She knew the video would get out there, yeah. and her attitude is sort of what? Whatever. Just having fun. Whatever. Well, this is all, you know, they tried to cover it up. Her people found the guy that had the video on his computer, okay? Right. So they go to him and they say, listen, buddy, we'll give you this brand new laptop. You just give us the one that's Excuse got the video. Me? A laptop was offered? Mm -hmm. So they gave him the laptop. They made the trade. Next thing you know, the video's still out there. Uh, they fell uh, for it. Uh, uh, time out. Now, <laughs> would you, for a laptop, I mean, it's Miley Cyrus. Right. Miley Cyrus, it was a laptop? That's all they offered? 
Where's the hundred thousand dollars? But again, she doesn't care. So that's I guess that's why it was a three hundred ninety nine dollar laptop. It's crazy. Well, this was to the guy that had the video, the guy that obtained yes. the video. Yeah, her people go to them, and he's like, Yeah, sure, that's I'll make that crazy, trade. That's a crazy payoff. And he's got the video somewhere else. All right, okay, let's get to Kim Kardashian, mm -hmm. um, who wants to says she doesn't want to date anymore until she turns. Until her next birthday, whatever. Well, yeah, and that's October. So, even so from what I understand, she's 30 now. Something about she's going to, you know, no men for a while. Let's just say no men for a while. She's going to try to stay single as long as she can. Um, I have to say this. Uh, let's say, let's assume for a moment that she really means it. She just wants to be single, play sure. the field, sure. have some fun. The thing that's going to well, hold no, no, her. Well, no, no, she's saying no men. Right, no men. She's not going to oh, play the field. And not at all? She's saying no men. No relationships. No, re no. I, I, well, let's read it two different ways. So, so go ahead. I, I read it as like, you know, she's not going to be in a serious relationship. No, like one boyfriend. But, I mean, girl can still go out and have a good time. Okay. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. That booty of hers. Okay. It, you it's, get right to it. It's, it's like a planet, and it has its own gravitational pull, and, and things just are attracted to it. You know, they're, Say drawn, what? they're drawn in. And, and as long as he has the combination of, you know, good looking, got a lot of money, and, and you know, dumber than the Cubs fan, I'm pretty sure she'll start dating the I dad. don't know if all her men are dumb, but they do have uh, some certain things in common, this is for sure. <laughs> Gravitational pull. Yes. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's, let's end on a high note here. Larry King yes. said goodbye last night. Take a look. I don't know what to say except to you, my audience. Thank you. And instead of goodbye... How about so long? And that wasn't a road I would have picked. And it is so long because he's still going to do at least four shows, yes. specials a year. So he's not going anywhere. You know what I heard he wants to do? What does he want to do? Stand up comedy. I bet he could. The only thing funny I about I would go see Larry King. <laughs> Wouldn't you go see Larry King, Matt? Matt would go see Larry King. I would check it out. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like I would do it if it, the ticket was free. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Arnold Schwarzenegger named December 16th yes. Larry King Day in all of California. Alton, Illinois, you're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the it. Suspenders. God, well, I'm going to start wearing suspenders from now on <laughs> here on the show. I'm going to polka dot tie, and I'm the only one left in the world that can rock that. You kind keep of. rocking the ruffles, man. Don't I got the suspenders. staff coming over, touching my jacket this morning. <laughs> Junior, did you like that? Loved it. Felt Thank good, right? Thank you, Kurt. Just Thank you, Kurt. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> We're very tactile people, that's all. <laughs> is that what Thank it is? Thank you, yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> the Fighter, How Do You Know, and Tron Legacy. All uh, big movies that hit the big screen this weekend. We've got a sneak peek of all of those shows next on Great Day St. Louis. Stick around. And Cirque Holidays is on stage at the fabulous Fox Theater from December 21st through the 29th. Congratulations to Carol Nays of Florissant who won our Cirque Holidays Ticket Contest. Carol, enjoy the show.